Hello friends, again most welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about the second part of UV spectroscopy. In last lecture we have done with the introduction of UV spectroscopy, principle of the UV and instrumentation of UV spectroscopy along with its application. If you have not seen this lecture then please visit it. I will provide the link of this le lecture in my description. So today we are going to see the laws of UV spectroscopy that is an absorption laws. First is a Lambert's law and second is a BS law. Both the laws are similar but the statement is somewhat different. So let's see the Lambert's law. According to Lambert's law, when a beam of monochromatic light or radiation, when it is passing through an absorbing media, absorb absorbing media, it is a nothing but a sample which are going to be analyzed in the UV. Then the decrease in the intensity of radiation, it will be directly proportional to the thickness or path length which we represent with the help of L of the solution. So it can be represented with the help of an equation is there. A is equal to log 10 I0 by I. I is the I0 is an incident radiation and I is the transmitted radiation. It will be directly proportional to the path length that is and thickness, which can also be represented with the help of A is directly proportional L or A is equal to summation L, where A is the absorption, L is the path length that is and thickness, and summation is the molar absorptivity. Let's see the Beer's law. According to Beer's law, when a beam of monochromatic light is passing through an absorbing media, then the decrease in the intensity density of radiation it will be directly proportional to the concentration of the solution here is a, here is an only one difference between the lambert's law and the bs law here is an path length and here is an concentration of the solution uh, it can it can be asked in the mcq uh, for two marks in a description a descriptive answer for two marks uh, what what is the difference between the lambert's law and the bs law so it is a simple difference in lambert's law it is in concerned with the path length and bs law it is in concerned with the concentration of the solution it can also represent with the help of one equation is there a is equal to log 10 yeah, i0 divided by i is directly proportional to c where it can also be represented as a is directly proportional to c or a is equal to summation into c where c is in concentration of the solution let's combine the lambert's and bios law in a one equation here the decrease in the intensity of radiation it will be directly proportional to thickness that is in path length as well as the concentration of the solution here we are going to combine this equation so a is equal to log 10 i0 by i is directly proportional to l into c it can also be represent as a is equal to l into c or a is equal to summation into l into c where a is the absorption summation is the molar absorptivity and l is the path length and c is the concentration of your solution let's uh, go we are uh, we let's see the uh, example of uh, lambert's and bios law with the help of one uh, concept of absorption as uh, in this diagram you can see here incident radiation which were which are we are going to represent with the help of i0 here we are going to insert the uv radiation with the 100 percent intensity here is a sample solution which are which we are going to analyze in the uv and here is a transmitted radiation which we indicate with the help of i here is a 100 percent intensity but here is a 95 percent intensity when the radiation light it is and passes through a sample solution why why 95 percent because 5 percent uh, of the radiation it is an absor absorbed by the sample means 5% absorption it will be takes place in from the sample let's see the two case studies first case if the sample solution is not transparent means our sample have somewhat drug content like that means like that our trans our sample is not transparent so what happened so percentage of absorption means zero percent absorption will be there and the transmitters transmittance will be hundred percent there so i zero is equal to i because no absorption takes place in this case so in case second if the sample our sample is transparent means our sample is completely transparent there is a no any resistance for the light so absorption percentage of percentage of absorption is equal to more than zero and the transmitters is less than 100 so it can be represent as i0 is greater than i so consider that a is equal to i0 by i and t is equal to i by i0 so a is equal to absorption is equal to log 10 1 by t here a is the absorption and t is in transmitters so t is equal to i by i0 so 1 1 by t is equal to what so 1 by t is equal to 1 by t is equal to a means we are we are going to take this value means i0 by i so we want to put this uh, value in the equation 1 so this equation will be get a is equal to log 10 we have put this uh, value in the equation 1 i0 divided by i so this equation by using this equation we can determine the absorption of any solution if we know the incident and transmitted radiation hope so you got the idea about the laws of uv spectroscopy that is an lambert's and beer's law
if you want in detail lecture for the uh, electronic transition uh, in the uv spectroscopy then please comment me in next lecture we are going to start the new series uh, that is an ir spectroscopy thank you for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and uh, stay connected with our channel for such uh, new updates thank you